Good morning, Lisgar. Today is International Day of Pink. Today is Wednesday, April 12th, day three on our five day cycle. Please stand for the acknowledgement and singing of O Canada. The land upon which we work, live, and sustain ourselves is the ancestral and treaty lands of the Michizagig Anishinaabe, also known today as the Mississaugas of the Credit, the rightful caretakers and title holders of this land. We also recognize the rich pre contact history and relationships, which include the Anishinaabe and the Ongwe Hongwe. Since European contact, this land continues to be home to indigenous and non-indigenous peoples. As responsible community members, we value the diversity, dignity and worth of all people. Colonialism displaced and dispossessed indigenous peoples of their ancestral land. And continues to deny their basic human rights, dignities and freedoms. We are committed to learning true history to reconcile, make reparations, and fulfill our treaty obligations to the original peoples and our collective responsibilities to the lands, water, animals, and each other for future generations. We see the rise, the true north, strong and free. From far and wide, oh Canada, we stand on God for thee. God, keep our land glorious and free. Stand on God for thee. Oh, Canada, we stand on God for thee. During the month of April, it is Autism Acceptance Month and Sikh Heritage Month. Discrimination takes many shapes, whether it's based on race, age, disability, gender, or sexuality. The L2 uh, as LGBTQIA plus community is no stranger to the bullying and violence that stems from hateful, hateful beliefs. That is why we have International Day of Pink. If you're in grade seven and need to catch up on painting your clay pots or in grade six and need to catch up on making your clay pots, today in room 213 with Ms. Hutchinson, you can work on those clay pots. If you're in grade eight and looking for a suit or a dress for graduation, check out the sequence and suits event. Today is the badminton tournament, so good luck to all those who are participating. Therefore, there will be no intramurals for grade sevens today. Tomorrow will be uh, grade six intramurals from 11.55 to 12.25, and this week is fitness centers. Today on Wednesday, there will be running, uh, running club, and you will meet in the atrium, and make sure to be arranged to be picked up at 3.15. The junior boys soccer trials will be happening. For the grade sixes, it is today from 2.30 to 4 p.m., and you will be meeting on the soccer field beside Lisgar. If you're in grade seven, your trial will be on Thursday, April 13th, from 2.30 to 4 p.m. If you're in grade six and interested in volleyball tryouts, for girls, your first tryout is on April 14th, on Friday from 7.10 a.m. to 8.10 a.m., and for boys, it's on Thursday, April 13th, 2.30 to 4 p.m. If you're in grade 7 or 8 and interested in Ultimate Frisbee, you should try out for the Ultimate Frisbee team. You can sign up on the announcement slides. If you're interested in the Lisgar Line announcement team and interested for next year, the next meeting will be held on Thursday, April 13th in room 109 from 11.25 to 11.55. If you're in grade 7 or 8 and interested for a Gauss math competition, there is a form on the announcement slides and you must fill it out before Friday, April 21st, if you're interested. Today there is Minecraft Club and tutoring in the makerspace for grade 6s and 7s, and tomorrow it is grade 6 lunchtime building session and Minecraft Club. 
The Commons crew welcomed back people to the LLC till Thursday during lunch, and there's no need to sign up. If you're in the yearbook club, there is a meeting on Wednesday, April 12th. And a reminder for all OFIP participants, there's a meeting at 2.30 on Wednesday and Thursday. Breakfast Club is held in the atrium from Tuesday to Friday from 7.45 a.m. until 8.15 a.m. There's a minimum 25-cent donation. That is all for today, Lesgar.